I'm Skyla. I'm a student here at the Queensland Children's Hospital. We heard that Juice TV is bringing a famous didgeridoo player here, which is really cool, but get this. Someone in my school has sung for him and one of my classmates is learning the didgeridoo. If you haven't guessed who it is yet, let me introduce to you one of the greatest didgeridoo players. It's William Barton. G'day everyone, how are we all? Thanks for having us on the show on Juice TV. This is exciting. In class, we've been learning about First Nations culture. And now we're gonna say an acknowledgement of country. We acknowledge the Turrbal and Yagara people as the traditional custodians of this country and recognise their continued connection to land, sea and culture. We would like to pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging who guide us with their knowledge and memories. We acknowledge that our community includes First Nation people from across Australia and we welcome and pay respect to their cultures. Very special everyone, that was an amazing acknowledgement of country. I'm from the Kalkadunga tribe and I'm here to share the spirit of music, the gift of music, with you, the next generation of storytellers. As Skylar mentioned, I had the opportunity of singing for you with the Indigenous Children's Choir. It was such an awesome experience, I will treasure forever. William, what's your favourite memories of playing the didgeridoo? There's been many special memories from performing with my mum, Aunty Delmay Barton, to uh, performing in Carnegie Hall in, in uh, New York City. I love playing the didgeridoo, not only in Australia, but all around the world in these beautiful places. I've noticed you've got a didgeridoo too. Um, how long have you been playing for and what, what, the, what sounds do you like playing? I really wanted to play a didgeridoo, so my teacher helped me to get this one. I've been trying circular breathing, but it's a bit tricky. Can you give me any tips? That's right, circular breathing is one of those techniques that can be quite tricky to learn at first. But uh, there are traditional methods that have been passed down to me from many of the elders and one of those techniques is to actually put the didgeridoo or the yadaki or the gigi gigi in a bucket of water. The end of the didgeridoo, we're placing the didgeridoo in the water and then the trick is though to keep your lips vibrating. Because of the pressure of the water on your lips, it'll want to cut out the, the vibration. But we've got to keep on droning. So we go. So you notice I took a deep breath in first. So let's try it together. Breathe in, let's do it together. Breathe in. And again. Let me get quicker. In through the nose. Now we add a bird sound to it too. Say the word car. Thank you for teaching me these techniques. I'm going to keep practicing. I know the hospital is really excited for you to be here. Can you share some music with us? Yeah, of course. I'm looking forward to sharing the gift of music that's been passed down to me and uh, sharing it with all you beautiful people here. And um, I've got a special guest, Arnie Dalmay Barton, who will be joining me. And Mum's been a part of my musical life uh, in sharing this gift of music. And so it's been really wonderful to be on the show and good luck with the, the training.
Then of course, Daddy Kangaroo, the Dion, the Dion, the Dion. 